Hello, welcome. I'm Ellie. We're heading back into Sims 4 into the Lego Friends renovation of Firehouse. Now, this is actually the third part of this series so far, so check out the others if you haven't already seen them. But I've just fixed a couple of things that I missed from the last, well, I marked up last time. So I've put the solar panels on the roof correctly. I don't know why I couldn't do that. Uh, I've deleted some of the random frivolous items that I had bought with their money made from deleting the other stuff. So, oh, and I put bath mats in all of the bathrooms. So their mums will be very, very proud. They live in the high life. And I made a creativity room, a place for calming and creativity. So I've made a book nook over here with some comfy cushions, an easel over here for Emma and over in this corner is a whole yoga zen yeah area hopefully to try and get on top of some of Stephanie's anger management issues we're gonna see if this will help her she's got lovely plans surrounding her now she has got let's see she's got the inner peace <laughs> aspirations so we're trying to if we try and do these things oh I don't want to do that one that means we have to go to spas but we could do the rest of this stuff here um, yeah, all right. Uh, hopefully that will help her because she's got the high maintenance trait. So hopefully that will work. That will, will balance that out. Me as the freelance botanist, that's correct. Nerd brain for Olivia. I'm not sure whether that's the best choice for her as an aspiration because I wanted to do robotics. I wanted to build all these robots, but I don't know which one of these knowledge aspirations works best for her. For I don't know. I've never played through them, so I don't know which one really addresses robotics. So we're going to... What about this one? Computer geek? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm kind of in the dark with this. I don't really know. Uh, all right, I'll just leave it alone because I don't know. I might have to look that up. So Andrea's got the musical, yep, genius and painter for Emma. These should all be ways that they can make money. So, oh, and I want to go into the actual house traits. And in here, we've we've got, so we've got homey, which is really handy, natural light's good, and dog hangout is hilarious. But in the lot challenges, creepy crawlies is why uh, Mia got attacked by a <laughs> flock of plasma bats last time. But I want to put on the simple living. I'm going to leave the creepy crawlies on uh, because that was hilarious. <laughs> I just love it when random things like that happen because they're insane and would never actually happen in real life. But we're going to add simple living to this challenge, which means they're going to have to buy or grow their own ingredients. So that, I don't know why I'm doing this, but anyway, let's play. So, <laughs> Andrea just had a fabulous laugh there about a bongo drum. Marvellous. Now, let's put these girls to work because we have zero dollars. Emma just went straight past the dog poo. No, no, don't stop to pick that up. It's fine. It's lovely. It adds to the ambiance. So let's put, let's start her doing a painting and... Oh no! They have no money, so we can't do a painting. Oh, okay, fine. Well, you can start the next mural. Make this place beautiful. I mean, the last, the previous mural was gorgeous. It's not going to make us any money, but yeah, well, while we're busy making money or trying to send some of the other girls out to make some money, what are we going to do? Oh, okay. Stephanie's already not very happy. Emma's happy enough. Mia is tense. She needs some fun. You know what would be fun, Mia? It's going out and collecting all these things, harvesting the snapdragons, going out to see what else we can dig up that we can sell later. Nice. So I'm sending her out to do that. <laughs> There's burnt popcorn left here everywhere. How long is it till that popcorn is used up? It seems to have lasted forever. Which is handy because they have no money, but still. Okay, all right. So let's get Stephanie started here. Let's get her started on her Zen journey. She's just stopped to look at our little hedgehog, which, yes, thank you to the commenter who told me it's a hedgehog and not a hamster. <laughs> Obviously, really, really observant. But I like it being a hedgehog. So their little pet hedgehog is hanging out out here. So she's acquired the wellness skill, it's very useful for her mental well-being. Look at her there, <laughs> meditating to the lovely sounds of hedgehog scritching. Uh, okay, let's put Andrea to, no, no, Bess, what? Um, no, you cannot, no, we can't loan you any money. Stop mooching, also we have no money, so no. Nah. Go and get a job, you know, work, <laughs> like the rest of us. Okay, right, so Andrea is doing some, some, some music practice. Poor old Mia, she's still terribly tense, eating her burnt popcorn. Why is Olivia not able to go anywhere? 
Uno, okay. Mia's found a present on the floor. The pets have brought them. They just bring them random presents. So let's see. I don't know. Oh, okay. Olivia got there first. So, Olivia. What are you doing? She's talking to the popcorn? I, I'm assuming she's talking to Noodle and thanking Noodle for the fabulous present, which is, let's open it and see... It is a meow ball. All right, nice. How much is this worth? Thank you for the present. $5. Okay, so we are now up from zero. Yes, up from zero to $5. We are on our way. She's going to hold on to all the robotics pieces because she's going to be doing upgrades. So in Mia's inventory, she has got a lot of stuff that we've collected in the past couple of episodes, actually. And we are now going to sell them $20 because this is we've been waiting for this moment all of these collectibles so now we can start adding to the to the to the firehouse fortune and i don't i mean at the moment they're only going to need money for their bills and their food but their bills are going to be quite high because this is a like what a three-story house filled with stuff firehouse full of stuff so yeah we're going to need to save a fair amount of money and not spend it willy-nilly gonna have to be very responsible so we're up to 420 dollars already this is marvelous have we planted one of these though so i want yeah mia's already planted those i want mia to every time she finds a new plant to put it up up the top and she's going to look after them so now she can have some more buttered popcorn knock yourself out girl let's see how emma's doing she's getting there slowly stephanie is also heading off for some buttered popcorn mm -mm, they are going to have some serious problems if that's all they eat but you know what? <laughs> we could order them a pizza, I suppose. Okay, now, Andrea. Andrea is singing. That's lovely. She's very, <laughs> very early in her uh, singing journey at this stage. But I'm wondering why she's facing the wall. So if I turn this around, does that mean she'll actually face not the wall? Let's see. Uh... Vinegar, okay, yeah. no, it, it, it means that basically she can't access that. So if I pull it out here, then hopefully she can can sing and we can see her rather than her singing into the wall, which would be decent acoustics, I suppose, to bounce off the wall, okay? There we go. Now you keep on that, kid. Let's have a look at... Oh, yeah, the guitar annoys me too because she also faces inwards when she's doing that. I could have just done this with the other one, just dragged it in live mode. Oh, you know, the things I forget, which is most of the stuff. Okay. <laughs> see how she's going. She's living her best life. Right, so Olivia... Oh, man, I sent her to work at the robotics table and she is dazed again. She spends maybe... Yes, seriously fried. So she's not actually achieving very fast on this robotics mm. task. Oh, but look at that. Andrea's reached a new level. Well done. Let's, in that case, let's see if Olivia can make us some money. She can practice programming, get her computer skills up maybe, and then she could maybe make some money like that. I don't know. Poor old Mia. She is still tense. However, she is at the moment our... Um, primary money earner so uh, is there any, anything else here she can collect yes there's some feathers a little pile of feathers let's go and collect them have we got any daisies to collect yes harvest the daisies uh, and dig yeah right so at the moment she is doing she's doing the best for this <laughs> this group everyone else is building their skills up oh and another frog to add to her collection we're not selling the frogs at the moment because we're collecting them. So these feathers look pretty good. Let's have a look. Yeah, let's have a look in her inventory and see. So pheasant feather, got two of them. They're worth $180, so $90 each. Score, these feathers are awesome. Okay, so pheasant feathers, spotted, I don't even know what that was, spotted feather. It was worth 200 anyway. We cannot sell the buttered popcorn. We'll just hold on to the daisies for the moment because I want to actually plant one and then we'll sell the rest. Oh, look, Olivia, your mom's here. Invite her in. That's nice. Uh, Mia has found a heart frog. Let's add that to our collection. But Stephanie's going to bake pastries. No, we've got no ingredients. How much money do we have? We actually have a decent amount of money. Right, so what do we need? We need... Yeah, okay, so we need eggs, flour, milk, sugar. Let's let's make an order and put something in the fridge. But the problem with these groceries is that they'll actually go off in the fridge. So we have to remember to use them and actually bake stuff with them before they go off. So let's go with three eggs. 
Wow, eggs are expensive. Eleven dollars an egg. Uh, three bottles of milk, some flour. How is flour the same price as a single egg? And the sugar. Actually, let's get some meat so that they can they can maybe make some meals as well as baking some things. Right, so that's two hundred odd dollars worth of groceries. We're going to have to make these last. This is our whole week's worth of groceries. Emma's doing so well there. That is beautiful. There's a random chicken there as well because I deleted the uh, chicken coop that was there, but I forgot to take the chickens away. So I wonder how long the chicken will last for. Here is, <laughs> hopefully the chicken will just go and find a better home. Here's our delivery person who is having a fabulous time taking selfies. Dash is announcing that there is somebody at the door and standing in a puddle of what I assume is uh, pet wee. So we might need to get to that because everybody keeps walking through it. Stephanie has let the grocery deliverer in. Where are you going? Oh, where did you put, where did you put that? It just disappeared. Where did it go? Did Dash eat it? Where, where did she put the groceries? What? Stephanie doesn't have them in her inventory. You're still here. Where are the groceries? Oh, look, Mia's doing mopping. That's very handy. Thanks, Chica's a prowler. But where are my groceries? Oh, okay. So the hens hopefully will go and find somewhere new to, to live. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. Andrea's mum would like to come over to hang out. Fine. Yeah, that's fine. Come on. Come over. See what we've achieved. Lady with the groceries, give me my groceries. How am I missing seeing these? Are they, what, like, are they in the fridge already? That doesn't happen. That's not how it works. Let me have a look. So there's nothing in the fridge. The fridge is totally bare. <laughs> that was $200 worth of groceries. Where did they go? Okay. This is distressing to say the least, but any who, Andrea's mum is here, so maybe she can help me calm down. That might help. Uh, Leah, uh, Mia, you can invite her in. I don't even know where Andrea is. Andrea's having a sleep. Mia, invite Andrea's mum in. And Stephanie, a Chico, what have you done? No, don't be bitten by a squirrel. That means we need to take you to the vet. You're gonna be super sick. Let's have a look. Let me have a look at you, a look in your face. Yeah, you got some stars, but you're okay. You'll be okay. We, we, we can't afford vet bills on top of everything else. Let's get Mia planting. So we'll ignore Chico for a little while and hope Chico's okay. Chico will be okay. Let's open up these other goodies. <gasps> Hot frog, nice. Let's open up the other goodies that, that, uh, that, that Mia has found. Another gift, lovely. Goodness me, we are making a mozza simply just by going out and digging up stuff. So I think that's what we'll continue doing. Maybe I should put some more of the girls onto that. At the moment it's basically Mia's gig, but everyone should do it. So let's put let's put our yeah, our frog down here on our frog shelves. Looking sweet. <laughs> I love it. Who is this puppy? He comes in all the time, blue. Blue likes to come here and hang out in their piles of wee in the front door. Oh, Emma's just upped her, yeah, up her handiness skill. How do you do that? Do you, I don't know. I don't know what she did up there. Okay, so yeah, Chico's a fluffy cat. That's nice. Oh, otherwise she'll get hairballs. Oh, that'd be fun <laughs> not to stand in, but it'll be, yeah. Oh, 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 Mia's brother, Daniel, wants to, yeah, wants to know if we want to hang out. Yes, let's go over to Mia's family's house. Let's click all these people and um, Andrea's mum can stay here and maybe, I don't know, do some washing and some dishes while she's there. Because that's what mums do when they drop over to the kids' houses, right? So here we are at Mia's family house. Her mum, her dad, her brother are all here. Everybody is intensely uncomfortable because they're hungry, smelly, feeling unwell. <laughs> And basically super duper tired because this firehouse renovation is exhausting. So straight to the toilet for poor old Olivia. Mia is looking super tired. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I love this house. Oh, hi, mom. Hi, I'm just heading straight up here. Don't. Yeah, thanks for inviting us over. <laughs> We're just going up to use all the amenities. Whoa, so Mia's straight in the shower. Is Mia allowed to do that because this was her house because she's family? Because normally anyone else who does that gets, gets told it's inappropriate and to please, please leave. 
This is everyone else hanging out out here. Stephanie is not enjoying Andrea's company. Both, <laughs> both Daniel and his mum have got like the future cubes and whatever Daniel's future cube has just told him is really, really depressing him. So maybe Emma can tell him an unbelievable story like future cubes definitely tell you a future and go, wow, you should totally believe that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's enjoying this. Well, she's cheered him up. Whatever she told him, she cheered him, cheered him up. Now, this family has got fruit trees and vegetables, which we could, which, which Mia could, could purloin to uh, add to her stock. But we don't have, yeah, none of these are actually fruiting at the moment. That's useless, right? So instead, she's going to do some baking. And oh, she's terrible at it, by the way. <laughs> she's had no experience. But she can bake here in the house, I think, without being told to stop. So she's going to make some stuff and we're going to take it back home. So we've got some food in the fridge. Because I can't find the groceries. Because we got ripped off with our grocery, grocery delivery. Right, so she's on there. What's happening? Yeah, I know. No, she hates baking. <laughs> but, oh no. Olivia actually, yeah, weed herself. Oh, Mia is, oh, this is going terribly. <laughs> How are we going to, Mia, get on to this? I'll see if Emma can cook it if nobody else is busy watching. The family members, oh, there's another one on the floor. What's this? Bread. So I think one of them might have started this and then got told to stop it. So we'll see if how far Emma can go because she's got the best cooking skill, I think, so far. She can try and cook this and hopefully the family will be elsewhere. Yeah, look, look, mum and dad, they are asleep. Daniel's asleep. Oh, bee boxes. Oh, I can't even, can't even take the honey. <laughs> Probably a good thing. Yeah, okay, all right. So we've come over to Mia's house to borrow all of their stuff, basically make food. Uh, Emma, can you stop eating that? Actually, I suppose you can eat that, but can we get the rest of the brownies that you've made? And can we take them home, please? So let's get them out of the fridge, pull them into your inventory. Yeah, come on. There we are. Oh, it's because Stephanie's taking one. Stephanie, quit it. Let's get these and put them in the inventory. Nice. So we just have to remember when we get home to put them in the fridge before they go off because otherwise they'll go off super fast. Mm -hmm. So we've got this other, yeah, yeah, Emma, we've got the bread that also got started. Now you've finished your brownie. Can you please see, let's see if we can get some bread made too. So we've popped over to Mia's house. <laughs> we've made brownies. We've made bread. Is so Stephanie is, oh my gosh, how did she get so angry? Oh, no, 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 that is not good neighborly. No. Wow, she's got some serious mood swing issues. So she's, um, I think we might need to send Mia out to pick this up. Uh, she can, you know, rummage for assemblage while she's there. Might as well make good use of her time. Emma has made the bread, yes! <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, so we go to family's houses to make food. Lovely. Right, let's put that in the inventory and let's uh, let's get out of here as fast as we possibly can because Stephanie is looking for something else to be angry at. Emma is now playing in the rubbish. So, yeah, and she's got her brownie. So, right, we've got our food. I think we'd better skedaddle before, yeah, before we, <laughs> before we get ourselves into any more trouble. So we're home. First port of call is to head up to the fridge and put our, our 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 week's noms into the fridge. So where's Emma's inventory? I know everybody's so tired and grubby and everything. So bread's in there, brownies in there. Well, yeah. Oh yeah, this is good. This pile of rubbish is not good though. Who just leaves that in the middle of the floor? Look, Stephanie's just gone straight past it. I think they're all in, I think Andrea might be in the best mood. <laughs> so she might have to clean that up. Stephanie is so very angry again. <laughs> so she's off to bed. Nice work, Andrea. Olivia did not even make it inside. She has conked out out here on the street. Stephanie's up again. Stephanie has come to do some yoga and Emma finished this picture. Oh my gosh, it's the cutest thing. I mean, we really should sell it because it's worth $485, but let's put it on the wall because it's so cute. It's just, it's like totally, it's totally Emma. It's like a cat with toast. It's a toast cat face. I love it. So let's start her off. We've got some money. Let's start her on another painting. Sorry, you were trying to sleep, but you know, let's get this started before the rest of these girls spend all the money. Stephanie is doing her best. Look at this. Now she's 
she's feeling so much better. Homewrecker, what? From Smashing Doll's house. Whoa. Okay, more things went down at Mia's house than I actually saw. So, okay. But that, she was quite happy about that, which is not great. Look at Chico. Chico is, yeah, looking... <laughs> Looking all dazed and sleepy. Paul and Stephanie there. They're chilling in the chilling room. I knew that this room was perfect. It was just perfect for chilling. We got mood lighting. We've got, uh, we've got, oh, actually music here in the corner. I can change this to like Zen, meditate new age, yeah. New age music. And that's actually part of her aspiration -y trait thing. Oh, nice. Okay, so she can, oh, she can teach yoga class. That's how she could make money. So remind me next episode, we'll buy her a teacher's yoga mat and she can make money like that. Look at this couch, it is so scratched. <gasps> and Emma is so angry because she's sitting on a scratched couch. <laughs> the bin's overflowing. The coffee machine is just zing, it's broken. This is all starting to go, yeah, not well. But Mia has been through the rubbish and now she's taking it out. Oh my gosh, she's so tense and tired. There's so many jobs that have to be done and we've got $77. Where did our money go? Keeps uh, keeps just getting spent on random stuff. Noodle! If Emma catches you, oh, you're in the doghouse. You're in the raccoon house, kid. Bad luck for you. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. All right. Okay. Well, I don't even know where Emma is. Emma is, uh, oh, Emma's calling Chico. She needs, yeah, we need to keep an eye on Chico. So what's oh, wrong, yeah, Chico? Chico says, Chico has a brown paw with an, uh, with an exclamation mark through it. So yeah, very obviously that's what's wrong with Chico. Okay, so Chico's sick and should probably see the vet. Fine. We've got $77. Now's the perfect time to go to the vet. So this vet's actually owned by the Darlington family. I was hoping that Sophie would be here to be the vet, but they're just all these other randoms. So there goes my best laid plan. Let's go and sign Chico in first. Let's bring Andrea here because Apparently, according to the internet, to Mr. Google, she can practice her music in public and people will tip her. So I'm going to bring her out whenever we go out. Oh, good. All right. So Tico's booked in. We I'm going to bring Andrea out to with actually boy, <laughs> sing or play the guitar. The and I don't know which Bob ones here will flow, mean that she can... I don't know which ones. I need something that, like, play for tips. Maybe, oh look, just play something and we'll see what happens. If nothing else, at least she's practicing and that means her skill will get up high. Oh no, she's making, oh, that's Rosie. That's the Hecking's puppy. That's Brent and Brent's puppy. Okay, and she scared him away. Now, it's Chico's time for an examination. Emma looks entirely yeah. disinterested, but I'm sure she's really concerned. Right, so Chico needs, I can't afford that. We can't afford the basic treatment. We most certainly can't afford the expensive treatment. Decline treatment? I don't want to do that. We have got, yeah. What happens if, uh, if we just click that? So we have $125. Oh, but hold on. Chico just got treated. And we only had $125 and that money is still there. I don't understand, mind you. Chico's wearing the cone of shame. That's so sad. Oh no, what the? I don't know what's happening here. Andrea has decided to have a bath. <laughs> Brent, that's Brent Hecking. He is just a gasp that Andrea has decided to have. Yeah, well, Andrea's quite embarrassed too. So she's having a bath in the dog bath here at the vet. Chico is sleeping right in front of the bathtub. Well, it's all gone down here. Oh, look, it's Brent's puppy, Rosie. Oh my gosh, I love Brent and Brian hacking so much. So much that I built them a house in real Lego. There's little Rosie. Rosie appears to be okay. The vet and Brent are having a nice conversation. No idea what about. Let's go and see what Emma's doing. Oh, she's holding an imaginary cup of coffee, so that's going well. And Andrea's finished her bath and she's dancing with the other vets. So I think it's time for us to get out of here. It's all going very badly. So let's go to the dog park. <laughs> I have no idea how everybody's needs are, but the dog park would be a good place to take everyone, meet some new friends, and maybe, maybe do some busking, collect, like from Stephanie, collect some more collectibles for selling. This is a nice dog park. I downloaded this from the gallery. I'll look it up and I'll tell you what it is next time or I'll put it in the description box. So, um, no, Andrea's going to strum for fun because she's playful. 
Hopefully that's a that's a really good idea. Mia, this phone is ringing. No, Anne. No, sorry, Mum. We are hanging out here at the dog park at the moment. Welcome to come and join us. But at the moment, this is where we are. Brent's just arrived with Rosie, I assume. And there are a lot of things going on here. No, Emma just spent $14 on cooking. Ah, we are definitely gonna put that in our inventory and take it home. Andrea is playing to the wood pile, serenading the wood pile. Olivia is digging up some stuff, nice work. Because that means, yeah, a limestone, this will be worth some money. Emma, where are you? You have made some grilled fruit. We're putting it in your inventory and we're taking it home. None for this other lady who's just randomly turned up. No grilled fruit for you. It is, yeah, we can't afford, we can't afford to share. <laughs> it's every man for himself at the moment. Okay, so it is almost 10 o'clock. Oh, look at that. Stephanie is as happy as can be. Andrea's playing away. This puppy dog has come, oh. Oh, none of these dogs like Andrea's music. Oh, this one does. Oh, and here's Brand hacking. Oh, I just heard the money click. He just gave us a tip. How much money did he give us? Uh, I think we were on 107 before, so it's now 111. Wow, okay, so not a lot of money, but you know what, That at least that shows me that this works. So Andrea's super duper happy. She's pretty hungry though. And look at that! Oh, Brent is, oh, he's just making friends with all the dogs. Ah, oh, Emma, yeah, get this. Get this little gift. Okay, so Stephanie's found some more stuff to sell. Very nice. Emma's got the gift. Whoa, she is super tired. Look at this! Oh, there's a dog. Oh, I think that's, oh, wait, that, that's Dash. So Dash is enjoying the music, as is Noodle. Oh, Emma is, ah, uh, yeah, she's, she's down. She's down. It is, what is, it's 3.30 a.m. now. <laughs> We're still at the dog park. Let's go home. Let's go home, shall we? Everybody's stinky at the same time. They're tired. They need to go to the toilet. <laughs> Noodle's in love. It's all happening here. <laughs> I think everybody just needs some downtime for a while. So let's see what we brought back from the park. Some Baconite. Ah, it's worth some good money. Nice work. Nice work, Emma. What is that? Uh, yeah, okay. And this, let's open this up. Stephanie got, oh, look at that. Bleep the robot. $285. We'll give these parts to Olivia. No, hold on. Emma had some had some skills too at upgrading. Anyway, we have got some oh, we have got some good stuff here. What's in what's in this box? Can't sell that. <gasps> Madnip, I think, is something we haven't planted yet. We'll do that soon. There we go, Hopper. Another 20 pingaroos for us. Oh Gabby. So this was quite a lucrative visit to the park. We got yeah, we got some good stuff here. We're gonna save one of these. I'm laboriously gonna just individually. <laughs> we don't need to do it individually, but hey, I like watching all those three dollars just coming in one at a time. All right, so we have got five hundred and eighteen dollars, which I mean we did not have a lot at the park. Mia has conked out in the kitchen. They are all so tired. We're burning the candle at both ends. Oh, 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 oh! We need to put some. We need to put those things in the fridge. So what else are we? We got more stuff here. So Olivia's got a whole heap of fossils. Very nice, hilarious <laughs> T-Rex arms. Fossilized eggs. Let's sell that and sell sell this one. And what else? What what else can we do here? Let's sell. Yeah, the hilariously tiny T-Rex arms. Though I really desperately want to keep them. We were here to put this stuff in the fridge. Where is it? Where's Emma's stuff? Here we go, the grilled fruit that we brought home. <laughs> we paid for that, we're bringing it home. So the fridge is nicely stocked. As long as our power doesn't go off, we'll be okay. What is Olivia doing? She's playing a game while staring creepily to the side, thinking of aliens. This is a Sims, this is what happens. Let's check in on everybody. Emma's eyes are, whoa, so creepy when she sleeps. In fact, she looks entirely uncomfortable. What did you just put down there? She's, Okay, Andrea's reached handiness level two. That's handy. Ha! But what did Olivia just do? Let's get, let's, yeah, let's let Chico out to go potty. That's a good idea. And on this shelf, she put, she's finished her room. <gasps> I found the groceries. Oh, I forgot about the shelves because the walls were down. Oh, I bet you were shouting that at me in the comments. Oh, and Dash has learned how to go potty by himself. That's nice. Okay, so we have got the groceries. 
Whoa, best, best day ever. Okay, so we've still got some days left in these. I don't think they have as many days, yeah, as much life left in them because they're out of the fridge for so long. Oh my gosh, okay. We found the groceries. It's a good day. Olivia has finished her first robot uh, on the on the actual mechanics table. No, the robotics table. We're digging stuff up here because Andrea is the only one who is mostly okay. What's happening, Derek? Who are you? Derek is calling. I've called to inform you that your great great grand. Oh no, no, no. I'm I know this one. No, we're not just we don't just give the money under what conditions? Because you never get anything for free. So we have got Yeah, there were conditions, but we just got two thousand five hundred dollars just for answering this correctly. Oh, very nice. And Mia is just talking to the chair that's I, I, I think we are at the end here Mia's talking to the chair Chico is sitting almost on the plate mm, that sounds very sanitary but look at that Stephanie is in a really good place at the moment she is not angry this is a good place to finish this part I think everybody is just plum tuck it out there getting their rest oh and Andrea is even washing up okay good place to end this now we will work on the firehouse some more for the next episode let me know in the comments what you think should be happening how we can continue this we're starting to make a bit of money but the bills are going to come in soon so now's a good time to subscribe if you haven't done so already i will see you with some more videos really soon so check back in <laughs> see you soon bye